हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट विथ सेकेंड चैप्टर इन द सब्जेक्ट हेल्थ एजुकेशन एंड कम्युनिटी फार्मेसी द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज न्यूट्रिशन एंड हेल्थ ऑन द स्क्रीन दी द कंटेंट्स आर देर डिस्प्लेड दैट इज द वेरियस टॉपिक्स पॉइंट्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस सेकेंड चैप्टर सो फर्स्ट चैप्टर वॉज कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ हेल्थ रिगार्डिंग हेल्थ रिगार्डिंग डिजीज हाउ डिजीजेज कैन बी प्रिवेंटेड दैट वी हैव स्टडीड आई होप यू हैव कम्प्लीटेड द क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑल्सो क्वेश्चंस आर ऑलरेडी गिवन टू यू एंड यू कैन रेफर स्लाइड्स एज ए आंसर्स फॉर दोज क्वेश्चंस नॉ न्यूट्रिशन न्यूट्रिशन मीन्स मीनिंग आई विल लेट यू नो पोषण प्रेजेंट इट यू मस्ट नो अबाउट न्यूट्रिशन न्यूट्रिएंट्स एंड अपोजिट टू न्यूट्रिशन माल न्यूट्रिशन सो ऑल दीज टर्म्स वी विल कवर इन दिस चैप्टर न्यूट्रिशन मीन्स पोषण न्यूट्रिएंट्स मीन्स पोषक तत्व सो वॉट एवर फूड वेट दैट वी ईट In that food we get different types of nutrients. Now, what these nutrients are there? What is their role, and how they play role in our uh, healthful living? All this we are going to study. Now, in this chapter, the contents are the first of all definition of the term nutrition. Then we will see what is food. What are the functions? then classification of food and then regarding each nutrient we are going to study now here in relation to health we are going to study now in biochemistry and clinical pathology subject also you have the study of these carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins minerals but their biochemical role is there isn't it in the body but here as a nutrient what role these nutrients play what is their definition isn't it what are their sources isn't it what are their functions and if deficiency is there so in the last uh, as the point is given nutritional deficiency diseases so all these are the various nutrients poshak tatva and they play important role isn't it so these are the contents of the first chapter so first you must know about nutrition as i said simple meaning portion isn't it so this nutrition whatever we get that is through the food food that we eat so daily so either three times or two times or even many people they eat four times also isn't it so whatever we are eating whatever we are drinking in the form of food in the form of drinks so there are some nutrients as i uh, gave you the in the contents so they play important role isn't it and this nutrition we get through food isn't it now first we will see the definition of nutrition now the science of study of food and the ways in which the food use body uses food that is the meaning of nutrition again i repeat the science or the study of food and the ways in which the body uses food that is the meaning of nutrition also we can define as the science of food and its relationship to health that is another definition for nutrition it is defined as science of food and its relationship to health isn't it it is one of the most important element of health care isn't it <coughs> now under nourishment and malnutrition lead to so many diseases isn't it malnutrition means poor nutrition 
in simple meaning in marathi we can say kuposhan isn't it now nutrients are the substances in food that provide energy or health to form body tissues and are necessary for life and growth isn't it now these dietary factor we can also call these nutrients as dietary factor diet means food so the other name for food is diet and in diet we get dietary factors we can say or nutrients so these nutrients play major role isn't it in uh, protecting our body against so many diseases now regarding diseases also in separate chapters we are going to study there are so many infections there are so many non communicable diseases isn't it so uh, non communicable diseases like heart disease we can say diabetes we can say obesity hypertension high blood pressure isn't it so these dietary factors have got important role isn't it then malnutrition we will study later on kuposhan isn't it and for malnutrition poverty <coughs> that is daridrata then economic inability isn't it so financially who is poor and illiteracy that is lack of education these are major causes of malnutrition isn't it now food is recognized as important constituent for human beings isn't it in health and disease and major time was devoted in production or search of food so the different food articles are found so many different food articles today we use isn't it now food the definition is the food is defined as any substance which when taken into the body can be utilized to provide heat or energy to maintain and compensate wear and tear of tissues and to regulate body processes this is perfect definition for food isn't it so it is any substance which is used as a food and when it is taken inside the body it gives heat or energy isn't it so whatever food we eat that biochemical changes metabolic processes that take place inside the body they form heat or energy and that is needed to maintain wear and tear of tissues so in our body continuously newer tissues are formed and older tissues they are destroyed isn't it so this process is continuously going on then uh, the different functions also we will see that how the various functions are carried out uh, in presence of food and to regulate body processes also isn't it so many body processes that are taking place isn't it now in our body whatever food we eat so it is digested absorbed as it that means first digestion will take place then absorption will take place then metabolism that means it will get converted from one form to another and then transportation so it will get transported it will get carried out from one place to another from one tissue to another for utilization in growth so growth will take place of the body development of the body will take and health promotion in individual isn't it so nutrition is one of the most environmental factor affecting health of individual family community society and nation isn't it now there are different classifications and food is classified in number of ways so here three classifications i will give you first classification is of food by nutrients so different types of nutrients according to nutrients also uh, food is classified as carbohydrates uh, fats 
proteins, vitamins, minerals and water. So on your screen you will see this first type of classification that is carbohydrates, then fats, vitamins, proteins, minerals and water. Then other classification is of food by origin. So we can say this by uh, origin or you can say by uh, sources also, isn't it? So plant source, isn't it? From plants we get these uh, food articles, isn't it? So many plants and plant parts are eaten as food, isn't it? There are so many seeds also, isn't it? Because they contain nutrients, isn't it? So seeds, sometimes all seeds are not important. Some are poisonous in nature also. So from plant, we can say this as a vegetable source also. For example, carbohydrates, then fruits, whatever we are getting, all fresh fruits, dry fruits, vegetables and oils. These are examples of food by plant source or vegetable source. So in your screen you will see the color diagram which are so many examples of uh, various food articles isn't it from vegetable source. Then from animal source so uh, many people are non-vegetarian also isn't it. So those who are non-vegetarian so many uh, animal source food articles are also there isn't it. They are used as food directly or indirectly, isn't it? Directly, for example, uh, meat, fish, isn't it? Eggs, isn't it? Now, direct and indirect, just to make you understand that directly meat, fish and chicken, that can be used directly, isn't it? Whereas, the other articles which are indirect here, yeah, for example, milk, Honey, milk products and eggs, isn't it? So, these are categorized and indirect, but just you can, you must know the examples, various examples of the food articles which are obtained from animal source, isn't it? Now, the another source just for your uh, information that According to sources, vegetable source, animal source and third is mineral source. Here it is not displayed on your screen. That is the mineral salts. So that is the third source from minerals. Other type of classification is by function, isn't it? So classification of food by function. So here also the three categories are there food is classified under three categories one is energy giving food food which provides energy so this group include food articles which are rich in carbohydrates fat and proteins isn't it here the cereals pulses roots and tubers isn't it cereals provide in addition to energy large amount of proteins minerals and vitamins in the diet then pulses also give proteins and b vitamins beside giving energy as it energy giving foods <coughs> then body building foods so food rich in proteins are called body building foods as it like uh, milk, eggs, meat and fish, they are rich in proteins of high biological value. They have all essential amino acids. Now what are essential amino acids? We will study in proteins. Then pulses, nuts and oil seeds. They are rich in proteins but may not contain all essential amino acids required by human body. Isn't it? 
so these are all food articles if you are not understanding any term so you just find out in dictionary or on google what is the meaning of pulses what is the meaning of cereals is it you will get the idea then protective foods so some foods are called as protective foods they are rich in proteins vitamins and minerals and they have regulatory functions in the body like maintaining heartbeat water balance temperature isn't it so when we are eating food of different sources and when we are daily eating food interchangeably isn't it so all these functions they are carried out by these food articles isn't it then protective foods uh they are uh, rich in vitamins and minerals and proteins isn't it of high biological value like milk egg and fish isn't it then green leafy vegetables are also under protective foods because they protect the body against infections diseases and ill health now functions of food isn't it so all these various uh, nutrients that we have seen their classification three different classifications we have studied so in exam any one classification you can give when classification of food is asked isn't it now all these nutrients they provide uh, so many uh, nut one uh, nutrients they are getting in the form of food to our body so they perform so many important functions isn't it like very first important function is that they provide energy isn't it so we get energy in the form of heat so for mechanical work now you must understand here that why energy is needed isn't it so even when our body is at rest some energy is utilized on respiration also circulation of blood and other body processes so even if when we are sleeping at night but respiration is going on isn't it we need energy blood circulation is going on we need energy isn't it so in addition to that all other whatever the important functions are carried out in the body we need energy then built tissue isn't it so food is also essential for growth of the body and for repair of daily wear and tear of tissue so when the growth stops now see the body grows uh, till the person is in uh, 12th standard we can say isn't it or up till graduation we can say isn't it till the age of uh, say 18 or 21 as in between 18 to 21 also remarkable growth of the body takes place but when the growth stops the body continues to change throughout the life and tissues are also changing so to build tissue is another function then regulate metabolic processes so so many metabolic processes that are carried out in the body conversion whatever food we eat that gets converted from one form to another isn't it and uh, they are then transported also wherever they are needed isn't it so the metabolic processes are regulated isn't it then regulation of body temperature isn't it is another function of the food then individual nutrients have many special metabolic functions isn't it then these nutrients in combination they work isn't it they provide power to our body to build resistance against infections so our body fights against infection and diseases that means our resistance power is also uh, built by the food isn't it another important function 
that food is also essential to satisfy hunger so whatever we feel hungry when we eat food we are satisfied doesn't it our hunger is satisfied now by uh, we will study with uh, continue with the individual nutrient rather so carbohydrates we will start first isn't it now carbohydrates you might have studied in hsc also but you must know that the carbohydrates are the main source of energy principal source of energy isn't it now poor man's diet contain 90% carbohydrates isn't it so it is a main source of energy isn't it carbohydrates are present in good quantities in food they get changed into the glucose and fructose in the body and then in the form of glucose and fructose they are absorbed with the help of juices present in gastrointestinal tract the active muscles they store glucose isn't it near about 50% energy required by the body is uh, given by the carbohydrates now glucose can be stored in the body and when it is in excess so it is converted into glycogen and stored in liver and muscles or it can be converted into fat which is stored under the skin the daily requirement of carbohydrate is 400 to 500 grams isn't it now the important sources sugars are found in fruit honey table sugar cake biscuits sweets fizzy drinks and jam isn't it now the main sources we are studying of carbohydrates isn't it then starch is a polysaccharide isn't it it is a carbohydrate it is present in bread potato pasta and rice isn't it then cellulose is found in fruits vegetables whole cereals seeds nuts beans brown bread brown rice high fiber breakfast cereals isn't it but simply i will let you know that you must remember the main source of carbohydrates like uh, uh, jawari bajri gehu isn't it makka chawal isn't it all these are the important sources of carbohydrates potato isn't it now the important functions of carbohydrates very first they supply energy to our body isn't it so they are main source of energy then whatever excess carbohydrates are there as i said they are changed to body fat and they are stored under the skin now cellulose we have seen that cellulose is needed to keep the body digestive system healthy and to lower cholesterol now this cellulose is also present isn't it cellulose means we can say fibers or also we can say uh, roughage the other term for cellulose is that is fibers or roughage now fibers mainly consist of cellulose and other complex carbohydrate and these are also present in these sources only like fruits vegetables legumes nuts isn't it and this fibers they are said to be indigestible part of food isn't it they are just partly digested by microorganisms which are present in large intestine so 
roughage isn't it that is the fibers as i gave you the meaning of fibers isn't it they consist of cellulose so fibers or roughage it is one and the same so roughage such as such as lettuce fruits and other fibers are important to loosen things up in our digestive system so that we do not get constipated that means what here we are talking about the functions also isn't it of roughage material so i will let you know the functions of roughage fibers in simple meaning also you will better understand so we have some fruits also uh due to which the urination that increases isn't it or motion increases that is only because they contain fibers so fibers have got many more important functions they help us to lose weight also isn't it they provide energy also isn't it now the important functions of roughage or fibers we will see now roughage helps in our bowel thing keeping our digestive system clean isn't it that means what ki the person does not suffer from constipation now the meaning of constipation is in marathi i will let you know baddha koshtata in hindi we can say kabzi isn't it so many people not only in old age but in adult age also they suffer from constipation this is only because that if we are not taking uh, fibers in adequate amount so we suffer from constipation kabzi then many people they have to take then either tablet or churna like trifala churna kayam churna isn't it to uh, cure the constipation isn't it but if the fibers if roughage material present in adequate amount in our food then we cannot uh, suffer from constipation isn't it so these fibers they helps in our bowel thin now here the meaning is that they are not digested so they pass unchanged through the small intestine and they stimulate bowel movement thus act as a laxative so they have got laxative effect and therefore the person cannot suffer from constipation now it helps the digestive system to function efficiently isn't it so it is very good advantages for our digestive system also isn't it then it also helps in preventing colon cancer also now it has been said that whatever roughage material is there fibers so they are helpful they lower blood cholesterol level also and by this it decreases the risk of coronary heart diseases also isn't it then it increases the bulk of diet heaviness therefore the person does not eat in over amount it decreases overeating thus it helps in preventing obesity also obesity means latthapana sthulpana so obesity also is prevented if fibers are present in adequate amount then it increases bulk of the food thus helps to satisfy hunger so our hungriness is also satisfied because of the fiber contained only we get satisfied and our uh, stomach gets full if these fibers are not present so we will not get 
the feeling of fullness and we may go on eating and eating and eating isn't it but because of fibers we get feeling of fullness isn't it and then we feel that uh, our hunger is satisfied and that prevents overeating also isn't it so that is about the carbohydrates uh, you must know very well about carbohydrates their sources their functions as well as about the uh, fibers that is the roughage material also isn't it so here we will stop we will continue in the next lecture thank you